Hello everybody, Jonathan Rayo here with Simplify Guitar, and in this lesson I want to teach you how to play the song It's the Most Wonderful Time of the Year by Andy Williams. As always, I'm going to play through the song for you first, and then afterwards I'll break it down and explain it to you in more detail, so make sure to stick around for that. For now, let's go ahead and play through the song. It's the most wonderful time of the year With the kids jingle belling and everyone telling you Be of good cheer It's the most wonderful time Alright, so for this song we're going to be using five chords from the C chord family. We're going to be using the C chord, which is going to look like this. We want to make sure that we start our strumming on the A string and avoid playing that low E string for the C chord. We're also going to have an A minor 7 chord, and to get there from a C, all we need to do is pick up our third finger and we're there at the A minor 7. We have the same rule for this chord where we don't want to play that low E string. So we're going to start our strumming on that A string. Next up we have a D minor chord which is going to look like this. And for the D minor chord we want to start our strumming on the D string and avoid the E and the A string. So we're only going to be plucking the last four strings for this chord. From there we have a G chord, and to get to that all we're going to do is take our second and third finger from this D minor, and we're just going to go straight up here, and then we're going to take our pinky and put it down on the third fret of that high E string. And for this chord we get to strum all six strings. And from here we need to go to the F over C chord, which is going to look like this. Now the F over C chord is a great F to use as an alternative within the C chord family because we don't have to bar anything. Usually for an F chord we have to bar either the B and E string like this or to bar all the strings like this. But the F over C chord allows us to not have to bar anything but really it only works within the C chord family. So with that F over C chord we want to start our strumming on the D string and play only those last four strings. Now for strumming, we're going to be using a three beat strum pattern, and we're going to be strumming down on every beat. But the important thing for this pattern is the emphasis. For beat one of every measure, we want to just pluck the root note of the chord. So let me just hold the C chord as an example, and the root note of the C chord is going to be that A string. That's where my C note is. So for beat one, I just want to pluck that string by itself. 
And then for beat two and three, I want to strum the rest of the strings. So we have one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now you may notice for the part of the song when it starts talking about there'll be scary ghost stories and tales of the glories, this part of the song, um, I changed the notes a bit around from the original version. In the original version, we would have to play um, a lot of bar chords in that area because it's kind of changing keys just for that line. So instead of that, I just kept it in the same key. So it's a little bit different than the original version, but I made that adjustment in order to make it easier for you to play. All right, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I hope to see you in the next lesson. Take care. Bye.